713 workshops, films, food trucks, and live music. The inaugural Habit of Grace Jazz and Blues Fest is happening this weekend. We've got Christopher Calloway Brooks joining us live from Habit of Grace with all the details for our hometown hotspot. Good morning to you. Heidi Ho, good morning to you too, yeah. Patrice. Great to see you. Well, Looking forward to a fantastic concert here. It, it's very nice to talk with you and meet you this morning because I, as I understand it, you've got a pretty famous grandfather, Cap Calloway. Absolutely and positively, no question about it. <laughs> well, that's got to be just awesome, having grown up with that legacy in the family. And we've been talking about him this week because I know a lot of people want his home preserved in Baltimore. What's going to happen with that? Well, hopefully all your listeners will call up the mayor's office and make absolutely sure that the Callaway home gets preserved for posterity. I think it'll be a wonderful, wonderful thing for Baltimore for that to happen. They've had great success with legacy homes all around the country. There's no reason Baltimore shouldn't have the same thing. We won't, don't want the same thing to happen to Granddad's house that happened to Thurgood Marshall's and UB Blake's. Absolutely. Baltimore's okay. history should be preserved for the future. All right, so let's talk about this fest. Now, did you take, uh, take after your, your grandfather? Are you, are you musical, and will you be performing at this, at, at this festival? Oh, yes, no question about it. I <laughs> had the opportunity to tour with my grandfather granddad for several years uh, oh, awesome. when I was at New England Conservatory and uh, learned a bunch of his little tricks and uh, uh, all sorts of different techniques. So you'll be seeing an authentic performance from, uh, you know, the 1930s and 1940s. That was my granddad's heyday featuring the zoot suit with the reed pleat, the buff cuff and the drape shape. Yeah, we, we all love that all good of stuff. it. Okay, so tell me, this is the first and year for this. we've got... Uh, how, how and why yes, did this it come is. about? Well, basically due to the uh, fantastic uh, efforts of Suzanne Chadwick in putting it all together, the whole community felt as though it would be something that would make tremendous amount of sense to draw people to Harvard of Grace because it's such a wonderful town, mm -hmm. so charming, has all kinds of great restaurants, views, and now they're going to add music so that you can really come out and enjoy yourself on a nice summer weekend. Oh, it sounds like it's going to be an amazing event. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. We're going to give our viewers all the information about how to get out there.